In today's episode, I'm going to be exploring the parks of Curitiba. Hello people, how is it going? Welcome to Curitiba in Brazil. This vlog is going to be all about the parks of the city. I've been here several times before, but I've never really explored the parks. Not properly anyway. And I want to show you around all the kind of green spaces of this beautiful city. As it happens, we're staying in a hotel, the Ibis Styles Hotel in central Curitiba, which is basically modeled and styled on the parks. So each floor of this hotel is themed on a different park. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean now. Our floor that we're staying on, the fifth floor, is themed on Jardim Botanico. And what I want to do is basically go to each floor of the hotel and see if we can visit the corresponding park that relates to the floors. There's eight floors, so I'm not sure if we're going to make it around all of them, but I'll do my best to see a few anyway. Um, but yeah, beautiful city of Curitiba, right here in the city centre. Look at this view out the window. Very, very green city. And today I'm going to explore some of those green spaces. Let's do it. <coughs> That's quite a cool wee backdrop for this vlog, playing samba in the park. I've actually been to this park two or three times before and it's actually been in the vlog before, last time I was in Curitiba. But um, when you're here in the city, you always have to come because it's just so pretty. It's gonna rain in a minute, just as well we're close to the stupa. Get inside out the rain. We got a nice view of the city from here, look. Curitiba right there behind me. Anytime you see a poster about Curitiba, anytime you see anything about Curitiba, you see this greenhouse, Crystal Palace style. Climbed up the steps here to the top level. There's like a kind of metal walkway here. You see out over Curitiba that way and the gardens. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Right, so that was the greenhouse, the famous greenhouse and botanical gardens here in Curitiba. As I say, probably one of the most famous locations here. And actually, all of Brazil, everybody knows about this place. So, one of the things to see here. Anyway, on to the next. What's on this lift number one? Paseo Publico. I think that's a public park here in the city centre. All right, so we are currently in the Paseo Publico, which is actually the closest park to where we're staying in our hotel. It's literally about 100 meters away. And, and yeah, it's just a big open space. And actually it was the first zoo, apparently, here in Curitiba. And it's not really a zoo anymore, but they still have enclosures with birds in them around the park, like this one behind me. Some parrots there. Yeah, let's take a wee wander around and see what it's like. But this one is right in the city center of all the parks in Curitiba, it's probably the smaller of the ones that we're gonna visit. But nice to have this green space in the city centre anyway. So this bird is huge and he eats mice. Quite an impressive animal. So that was Paseo Publico. On to the next one. Up to floor two. Tangua. All right, so we've come to a new park here in Curitiba, the city of parks. This one is another name that I find difficult to pronounce first off. What's it called again, Teka? Tangua. Tangua. It's actually not that bad. Parque Tangua. It's a wee bit further than the other ones, a wee bit on the edge of the city, but apparently there's lots of wild animals here including potentially armadillos. If I see an armadillo, I'm gonna freak out. The 
climbing up this tower to a Mirianchi, where apparently you can see all of Curitiba. That way, it looks like a tropical rainforest for pretty much as far as you can see over there. Oh no, no. Jesus Christ. Look at that. You did. That's high. I was literally about to walk out on this. And it's like, you can see right down to the bottom. I do not like heights at all. That's too much. No. We're coming down a really steep hill, which is like right into the rainforest. All you can hear around is like sounds of the forest, birds. Bugs. This is what I like. I love tropical forests. It's beautiful. I couldn't see this from where we were up there, but there's actually a giant waterfall right there. This park is a pedreiro, which is a quarry in English, I think. Pretty cool. It's turned a quarry into an awesome park here. Oh, I've been bitten by all kinds of horse flies and stuff. Buggers. See that red spot there in my hand? That is a spot of a horse fly. I've got some in my other sand as well. They're right there. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. I think I just inadvertently started World War III with those birds there. Huh? I'm trying to take a photo of this owl. Those two things there attacked the owl as I got close to it. It's a bit mean. Apparently it's not that far from the city centre. Could be worth checking out. Hello. Friendly doggy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a big polar bear. What's the name of this park again? Baragui. This park is pretty much really, really close to the city in Curitiba, city centre. It's called Baragui. Barigui. That is a difficult name for an English speaking person, but um, great to walk here. Lots of people running around, exercising, on their bikes, running. Look at it, it's green, it's blue. There's lots of birds here. People are walking their dogs. Awesome place. They also have loads of these wooden bridges over the river. Quite cute. Great views of the city that way. This sign is saying that there is jacarés, crocodiles, in this water, potentially. Or they always existed and there's wild animals here. I don't particularly want to get involved with those guys. Marmosets, which is a type of monkey, what you find all over Brazil. So cool. And there was a guy he just here that was feeding one of them biscuits. I'm not sure you're supposed to do that, but it's so cool you can come to the parks here in Curitiba and see wild animals like that. A lot of beautiful birds. Awesome place to walk. It's so hot today as well that we're having ice lollies. Bosque de Papa. Okay, so we've just come into a park which is really close to the city centre. It's called Bosque de Papa. Papa is the Pope in English. We've literally just stepped out into the park like a few metres and we're already into like some thick rainforest here. It's awesome. And we're very close to the Oscar Niemeyer um, famous museum. That's very cool here. Very beautiful. I just love the tropical forests that you get in Brazil. Incredible. Something like really special about them. Noises, animals. 
although I have been bitten by quite a lot of horseflies the last couple of days and my hands have literally swollen up. Look at that. Horseflies. How do you say in Portuguese again? Mutuca in Portuguese. Lots of big like wooden huts and stuff here. All kind of Christmas themed. This here is a police hut. Police headquarters in the park. This is a memorial to the Pope that came here. Guys, I don't mean to be disrespectful to anybody, right? But that there is a statue of the Pope that came here. They've made him with a really angry, angry face. And that, not even angry, it actually looks more mischievous than angry. Seriously? We've just come across a scene here in the Bosque do João Paulo, Papa. the Bosque do Papa. Something straight out of a horror movie, like a tree that's covered in spider webs. See that? That is a big giant patch of spider web. That spider web, I think the horse flies at least on my worries now. I am allergic to mosquitoes. I get a really bad histamine reaction in my body and I start swelling up in my hands and wherever it's been bitten. And I've just learned that horseflies also could cause the same problem, but much, much worse. So something else for me to avoid here, horseflies. Which is a shame because I love walking in the jungles and woods and stuff like that. It's like my favorite places in Brazil. what that is but interesting so because the Bosque do Papa is close to the Oscar Neymar Museum here in Curitiba I had to come past it because this is a famous world famous building designed by the great architect Brazilian architect Oscar Neymar the museum is actually the shape of an eye it's modern art I'm not a massive modern art fan so I'm not going inside but the last time I was in Curitiba I did actually come inside it um, but it's well worth coming here if you're interested in that kind of thing just to see a cool building as well I'm gonna take some photos out the front of it it's quite an impressive structure up close. Look at that. How the hell does that thing stay standing up? So as well as like some big massive apartment buildings in Sao Paulo, he also designed things like Brasilia, the city, the capital, federal capital of Brazil, where all the politicians are. That whole city was basically designed by the guy. 